Hey everyone, how's it going? So, we're back to shed building. This is a calf shed that we started building last spring and we just shelved it because we really didn't need it at the time and uh, we ran out of time. So we had it in here last spring and we pulled it out with only the bottom sheets on. So, so far, Sean and Lori put that sheet and that sheet on so far, and they went to get some more. Uh, what I'm working on, what I'm working on is the, the front. If I can back up enough here. And I'm working on the corners here. So, this corner here is, we put a, a brace across, and we do it in all four corners and in the middle. Put one in the middle there and the middle up there. And this, because the front of the shed is open, it helps keep the shed stabilized. So I got a couple pieces cut out here already. This will be my bottom piece. Right here. Am I focused? I mean, am I zoomed? Yeah. Seems so close. Anyway, this is my bottom piece. And this goes right here. All right, let's see. So you just get this lined up like that. There. That's what holds. I use really heavy uh, three-quarter inch treated plywood. And this is what gives you the strength of your corners. And you just nail the heck out of them. And... Uh, Nail it to the skid, to the wall, and like I said, you do the same in the other corner. I'll just leave that there and kind of back up and show you. It's not going to be right to the ground, it comes up. But. Uh, I did see some at UFA sheds were built. All they did was put a 2x4 down, and to me that's not good enough. Uh, actually, they put a 2x4 here too, they just took a 2x4. Put it right here and nailed it all the way to the bottom there. And that's not structural enough for me. And two by fours don't hold that great. We even put the middle uh, th big three inch timbers on here. And it's when dad pulled the shed out, it went out of square. So we tried to put it back in square by putting these timbers on it and held it square. By the time we got it back in here, it wasn't square. But we got it square now, so now I need to put these corner pieces on. Right, Sean? Sean. That's right. <laughs> That's right. What are you guys working on? What are you guys working on, Sean? The back wall. The back wall. What are you laughing at, Sean? <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna. I got. I got another piece to cut out. That's my. No, don't, don't take that. Oh. Well, you can. You want to. You want to use this table? Yeah. Okay. Take that off then. I got another piece to cut here. It's traced out. And I was in the process process of tracing that out, and I got distracted.
That a boy, Sean. Nice job. Just take one of these off here. I'm gonna see if it'll dry up a little bit. Kitty, you're in my way where I have to cut. Kitty. Rosie Kitty. Oh, we got the first one. Why don't you listen to me? I don't want to cut your paws off. Don't put me, he'll, he'll crack under pressure. There he goes, there he goes. That's <laughs> killing me. Oh, now watch your trouble. Is it because you're on camera, oh, Sean? Yes. Because of fire the fire The camera? Oh. Yeah, I'll hold it. Shouldn't matter, though. Yeah, it's the camera, I tell you. Missed. Missed. Yeah, I think he did miss. Watch out, watch your fingers. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, he did it. Usually when I tee Sean, he can't hit the nail. Three hits. Lost my arm. He's, got, he's grown accustomed to that. He's outgrown it now. Right, Sean? Attaboy, Sean. So, we're not using any air nailers because it's all put away right now and really don't need the air nailer. I used to use it for doing these front end pieces here, but I'm using some heavy duty nails, so. And I got both of them on now. So my bottom corners are done. And it's heavy plywood, the more nails the better. We don't have a straight top anymore. Well, no, because it wasn't quite. It's not quite uh, square because we moved it around before it was built. So, anyway, uh, before I used to use half inch plywood and I used to put a two by four on the inside and nail, nail the, the plywood to that two by four and the, the two by four to the skid and to the two by four framing wall but with this three quarter inch plywood it's tough you know, it's it's pretty tough i still could do that if i wanted to but i'm not going to i haven't done it on the other sheds and uh it uh, i'm not going to do it in this one i saw some shed builders doing that they built a shed on a three quarter inch uh, or sorry, three eighths plywood, and then they used three quarter inch thick plywood on the ends, and I thought, man, that's a good idea. That's really tough. So I think that's going to be pretty close for for today. We got the tin to put on yet, and Lorraine trying to get the side walls done. Right? Right, Sean? Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so if you guys have any comments, guys or gals, have any comments, 
Leave them at the bottom and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. If it goes wrong, if this is wrong.